do this twice. Hey. So, introduce yourself. I'm Erin. I'm Chris. And this is uh, Evacuate, <laughs> Evacuate Cooking. Yay! And now we're live there. So, I know, uh, well, anyway, we've, uh, we've never done a live stream. We have to do a cooking video. That's what she's recording. Uh, for my work, I, I am uh, Chef Chris. I work at uh, Qualcomm in Santa Clara. And uh, for my work, we do videos uh, every Tuesday and Thursday for Qualcomm employees. Uh, show them cooking at home. Well, ours is a little different because uh, we're evacuated right now. So we're in a kitchenette. So let's see, like, see the, uh, this is all we got. And I just got this little, little cutting board. And so, like, I didn't bring, I brought, I got a pair of tongs. But everything else is all that was here. Well, I got my knives. I'm a chef, so I have knives. But uh, it's just what's in the room. So we're going to make uh, chicken marsala, uh, roasted butternut squash, and a wild mushroom risotto. We're cheating. We are evacuee. So we just went to the store and got the, the little pre-made pre-cut pack of butternut squash, their pre-cut pack of uh, uh, mushrooms, and we got our arborio for the risotto, just the chicken from the store, that uh, pre-cut onions that they have at the store because... Uh, pre-cut onions. Yes. I, I have, I have a real onion, but you know, not everybody has a knife and all the other stuff, so just try and make it easy. Mm -hmm. Try and make it. The main reason we're live streaming is because of the evacuation. And even though, like, right now is the news conference about <laughs> how the fire's going. That I want to be watching. But uh, I didn't think of that when I said, decided to do this right now. But it's going to take a while, so when that news conference is over, there will be people on. And I did it so you can rewind. And uh, later on, this will be posted on on uh, my YouTube channel. But I just got chicken breast. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. I'm just going to okay. cut it. Because it's only Aaron and I here. So we don't need a whole lot. So there's one for me. One for me and one for her. Little one for her, big one for me. And the rest of this, it's good to save your, uh, the to-go containers that you get from other places because while you're, while you're evacuated, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a great way to save your other leftovers because, you know, we're, in this for a while. I don't know how long, but we hope not long. We hope not, but <clears throat> we're prepared for whatever. All right, so I don't need this anymore. That's the only thing I needed to cut was the chicken because I did it so everything else is already cut. Just to make it easier. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna heat a little butter in the pan and uh, sear the chicken. We should give it a little seasoning. Kosher salt. <laughs> Definitely foam without it. So we season the chicken here. Makes it better. But would table salt be fine? Yeah, but table salt. The problem is, like, for me. I, I don't know, I can't feel table salt the same way. So I over salt if I use table salt. Is that why people recommend? I know as far as chefs, the better the salt, the better. Like the really good sea salts are, are nice. Especially the smoked one, because it'll give that smoke flavor to anything that you, uh, you do. All right, so we haven't used <laughs> We've used the oven, but we haven't used any of this uh, this yet. So this is going to be, you know, fun. 
So as you know from some of my other videos, if you've seen my other videos, I have an electric stove at home and they're not as fun as gas because at least with gas, hey Patty, and uh, oh, Liz, Liz you've been out a while, sorry, I, I, I just realized that uh, <laughs> we can see the messages come out. Again, this is our first time live streaming. Uh, the test I did last night doesn't count. <laughs> so, doing a little, gonna get a little, I like blueberry butter. Okay, why, why, why? Uh, this would be a shout out to Chef Carter. Chef Carter! Formerly of Playboy Mansion, now owns a, the Canyon Villa in Paso Robles. Beautiful. It's we, amazing, you we guys. Stayed, we stayed there uh, about a month ago. But uh, we use we use Pluger at Playboy, and it's, it's just, it's so rich. Very rich. Velvety. So it's it's my butter of choice nowadays. What, it's wait, more expensive. <laughs> is it like a higher fat content? Oh yeah. Okay. It's uh, as a extra creamy salted butter. And salted, interesting. Yeah, I always use salted. I always use salted because I always forget to add salt to everything, I do, like pastry wise. So the pastries. And I'm just rubbing the butter into the pan. Let me see. Oh yeah, forgot. We got, Hello. I got double video going. Right? So, Very nice. Because I have no idea how strong this stove is. So I'm just winging it. It's so tiny. This is the cutest stove. Yeah, it's one of those like mini ones. So everything in here is mini. So I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm used to like we shoot our video, like the video she's shooting, uh, that you're shooting right now. Uh, we we film it for it's like two hours worth of film, and I cut it down. And sometimes the the video is two minutes, five minutes, but there's an hour, two hours. The longest one was the uh, smoked ribs. I had like four hours of content for that one. That I had to edit down the. Uh, the cake drop one was also a long one that I had to edit down uh, and cut out when I dropped the cake, but you know, it happens. It's the funniest video I've made. Alright, we got, can't hear it, but it's sizzling now. So like, it's getting close. I'm just gonna, I'm does, just, does Pluger burn any differently? Pluger? Does it burn any differently? Does it, does it? simmer any differently than no it's just I normally use it in like a butter sauce a bourbon sauce a white a white wine sauce where you would think it's cream but it's actually thickened with butter and that's where that type of sauce is where I learned to use it I used to do a uh, like white wine orange bourbon for desserts uh, again at Playboy because you know Money was no object. Well, money was an object, but it wasn't. You know, we got to, we got to play with the best food, and cook the best food for people that really enjoyed it. So now we got, got a good color going. Now we're gonna go for it. Go there. So you can't see it, but it's presentation side down. So like the top which is the side that's going to face up when it's done, always goes down first. That's like number one, especially when you're grilling. You get that nice diamond on top, and then when you go to present it, boom, you got that diamond. Ugh. I learned that first when I first got into fine diamond. They made you diamond everything. Even if you're going to chop it up, you have diamond. Ice cubes. So we, we're learning that our stove has hot spots. <laughs> oh God! Don't mention hot spots. Like we're not sorry, allowed sorry. to say that word. Yeah. No. Well, Wi-Fi hotspot. We had to use Wi-Fi hotspot because the hotel is overloaded hear, with evacuees. I never want to hear the and phrase it's, hotspot it's again. Internet is very wonky. So if this cuts out in the middle, 
It's the day or night. Because we're on the hotel internet. Alright, yours has nice color. So I got the those going off to the side. Now in my head I realized that before I started this that I didn't want to do it in that pan. I wanted to use the other pan, but <laughs> too late now. So now we're gonna take some of the mushrooms, because most mushrooms are for the risotto, but you can't have chicken marcel without mushrooms. Yeah. Frozen? I turned down the fr yeah our refrigerator is was running real high so a lot of stuff was frozen when I went in there just now. Oh no! <laughs> but again, that's what you deal with in real life. Yeah. You know, after the last video where I dropped the cake, um, I decided what what's the point of hiding? Like, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. You know, <laughs> just keep going. So, I mean, I, I added more butter because with the mushrooms, they'll suck up all the butter. Uh, that's also, why it's important. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it's important to, uh, never mind. I lost it. Go ahead. Also, you can never have enough butter. Oh, yeah. You can never have too much butter. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. While we're waiting, we're going to take this other pot. We got we got some chicken base on a spoon. What kind of that? Uh, well, since the video's for work, I grabbed some chicken base from work. But you can, you can get it at the grocery store. I prefer the little jars. Like at home, I have the little jars. Don't, don't use boo, don't use bouillon. That stuff's oh, yeah. horrible. Yeah, that's terrible. But like anyone that says made from made from actual stock or I don't know, the jars are about that big at the grocery store in the soup aisle. So her chicken's looking good. What's wrong with your chicken? My chicken is overweight, so <laughs> it's taking it's taking a little bit longer to get some color on there. Yeah, it's just like where to go with that. I realize we don't. Oh wait, no. You know, see, I realize we don't have whisk. But we do. Okay. I cheated. I got. The, I was gonna say this place this, did not this, come with a whisk. This whisk will be going back to work tomorrow. That is one of the benefits of being a chef. That's an essential employee that's still working every day. And going to work each day. It does look really good. It smells good. Almost to the fun part. Oh! The, the masala. That's always the fun part. Yeah, but there's no fire, so it's not going to flambe, but oh. it would normally flambe. Which reminds me, I had a drink. Right there. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah. It's alright. Need a little They're gonna be they're gonna cook in here the, all the way. Like they're not going in the oven because uh <laughs> we don't have a pan to put them on. Alright, so So if you were cooking on flame, that would flame? Yeah. So it's a rapid succession from here to the, like the next like three things. We're gonna hit it with the marsala, which if we were on a flame would flambe, or if this was like really hot or that was higher proof, like use 151 rum, it'll end up right away. But uh, and then we're gonna hit it with the flour to make a roux in the pan, and then we're gonna hit it with uh, some of this and uh, a little bit of the marinara. So that's just chicken stock? That's chicken stock. I probably need more. I made it pretty strong. Yeah, I made it super strong. This is for the risotto. Oh, okay. We need we need the stock for the risotto. And which is not vegetarian. We're not going vegetarian. But we are going 
myself. And uh, electric or gas, never pour alcohol in your pan over the flame. See, a flame might go, God. And it lit all up and been all. I'm standing in the way. Okay, I gotta see where I stand. So, it would be all firing up. And, That's okay. But, you know, no, thank you. <laughs> fire no, is thanks. not something we really nope. need to uh, be near right I now. I don't want to think about that. You know, as far as we know, we don't really know anything. We know we know that we're on the brink, but we don't know. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good times. Mazel, mazel. So we got a little sauce going there. I'll take a little flour. And if I had another, yes, I got another little container. What I do is take the flour. Don't want to be shy with the booze. <laughs> if you watch the cake video, you saw that I don't go shy with the booze. So, kind of make a slurry. Because if you just put the, the flour straight up in, you get little chunks. Like, I know my grandma's gravy all, you know, her stuff that like this always had little chunks. Mine too. I like it that way. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's that's good for home. That's not good for work. I like it better that way. don't want it to thicken up right now because I want to cook the chicken in this little stock I have. Because like I said, I, I, I got one sheet pan for the oven and I need to put the squash on there. So I thought about like, this is a really tiny sink to clean the pan after doing the chicken and then doing the squash. And who knows, the video would be two hours long. So. Uh, don't want that. Well, maybe we do. We we're we're kind of bored. You know, there's only there's only two streaming. It's it's sad. I'm actually I'm actually upset that there's only two streaming services, and my favorite show is not not available on our hotel streaming thing. First world. Problems. Always pack your for your 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 fire stick. First world problems. Yeah. But so we are a little bored. And by the way, our favorite show is Letter Kenny. Today. It's hilarious. Today. It's awesome. It is pretty funny. Watch it. It's like Canadian uh, Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. See, it's already getting a little sick. Now, you see what I got out here. I got, I got some marinara. And uh, back home, back east in Chicago, uh, chicken marcella. It always has marinara in it. What? Yeah, that's where the color change comes from. I never heard of that. Well, you're not from Chicago. I did the, the slurry flour situation traditionally. Since I brought up the marinara, I should bring up that traditionally you would pat the chicken with flour and then uh, and then uh, cook it so that you made the roux with the flour that came off the chicken. Problem with that is, and I had to change the way I did it because I work in corporate dining. When you do that on a buffet and you have that little like flour crust on all the chicken and it's in the chafing pan and it's 25 minutes after it goes out and somebody gets it, they think it's the chicken is mushy and it's not. It's the flour, like they got the flour from the chicken that was on and the chicken that's there. So I got away from dredging in flour before I cooked it because I had to change for work and 
I just kept it that way. And I can edit both together. So anything I don't say there, I can do. Now we're going to go, we're going to put this on the back burner, literally. <laughs> I like that one. That was pretty good. And uh, we want it on really low. I think I just turned it on backwards, but uh, we'll just put it on low. It's the rare. I can't uh, believe that has four burners. Yeah. So we need to get the uh, the squash going real quick because the squash, which came with this little cinnamon sugar butter, which I got melt. Are you gonna do that? Yeah. Why not? All right. It's evacuate, evacuate cooking. You gotta cook everything you got. So, uh, you know, our slightly frozen butternut squash. <laughs> Again. Are you gonna use kluga, whatever it's called? What's I'm it called? gonna add some kluga. I just like saying the name kluga. Where is it from? Where is it from? Crafted by chefs, kluga is slow churn and always fresh. It's Crafted with real milk from American dairy farms. It's basically elitist butter. It's like snobby butter. It's what you do. You use. It's like Costco butter. What do you think the difference is? Fat content. What? Fat content. Oh. And like I said, it's it's. It was a Playboy thing. So I just kept it. Now, I'm not cooking them in here, but I realized we don't have a bowl. So, uh, how am I going to toss them in uh, melted uh, cinnamon butter? Well, we got to throw them in the pot. And drop a little on the floor. It's okay. Oh, hey, handles that aren't hot. It's been a while since I've used pans like this. But so we're just shaking it up. Shake it up. Um, a little salt. It's too bad there's not smell of vision because it smells really good. It does. Okay, this is the one sheet pan we have. Put that on there. I preheat the oven prior to this. That's a nasty looking piece of squash. <laughs> so the oven's been on for. We we're anxious, so I fired up the oven a little early, probably like 5:30. So it's 6:23. So it's been on for about 45 minutes. It's nice and hot. Now I gotta rinse this out. Now we're gonna cook my favorite thing. It's like my favorite. Like, it's one of the, the, the way I do the mushrooms, the chef that I trained under, I used to watch them do the mushrooms. Like I worked on this side and like across from me was the hot, hot line. So kind of like this hot is here, I worked over there. So uh, I used to watch them and uh, I was the pastry chef. I was the executive pastry chef. But uh, made all kinds of stuff out of chocolate. Stuff I've never had to do since. Uh, but it was great. And uh, the way he taught was there are no recipes. It's all technique. So like the technique for the mushrooms, it's like 90% of the stuff we do. Even like that chicken I just did, the same process. So. It's kind of cool, like I learned one thing back in 1995 and that technique I still use today, like every time I cook. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I don't know, maybe his brother's watching, but uh, there's uh, two brothers that own a really nice restaurant in Chicago. Barrington to be exact. But 
hired me out of a sports bar and trained me to be a chef. And sent me to work with master chefs and I can't get this package open. I got arthritis in my hands. Seriously? Really? really? No, seriously. Alright, so I'm melting the butter in the pot that I just washed out from doing the butternut squash. Butternut squash is in the oven. The uh, chicken's on the back. Yeah, a little boom, boom. Let's turn it up a little. It's going low. But uh, that way the chicken will cook in the sauce and it'll also take on the sauce flavor like throughout the chicken. It's really good. And, you know. Just moving along, moving along now. We got the chopped onion. I finally got the lid off. So that was uh, interesting. So, we got the butter, we got the hot spots, and we'll do a little onion. I gotta remember that I'm only cooking for her and I, and that I don't need to dump this whole thing in there. Now, tongs to me is like your hand. I use tongs like an extension of my fingers. And pretty much measure out anything with tongs except salt. I'm gonna let that go a little bit. I don't know why I'm being shy with the butter. And then that will be for that at the end. Because risotto is like cook twice. We'll cook it. So is there a reason seven. you bought like Italian style rice? Yeah, that's risotto. A boreal a boreal when it's in its dish, it's risotto. So yes. Mm -hmm. It's like it. it's like I'm like I'm like tapping into like all the chefs that trained me because Chef Jeff who is uh, like a real estate mogul now. Um, he, he and I did a cooking class when, that we taught that was uh, uh, grilled salmon with risotto con fungi. So it was risottos with mushroom. And that's the, we're doing that same side. And uh, did that as a cooking class for Country club members back in, man, what year was that? I'm like 95 maybe? 96 maybe? 96? It was after the greenery. So, the onions are translucent. A little, got a little color too. I wish they all slipped down that way. They didn't work that well. Again, trial and error. Next time we'll live stream on the phone and do the the, the other recording with the, the computer because that's what I'm recording right now because I've got my uh, iMovie recording this video before you know as well so I can edit them both together. Other stuff I've learned since doing this. Okay, so um, I don't measure anything, so I'm just gonna guess about how much work me and Perry are gonna eat. So, coat the bottom. Nice little single layer. I'll show you one sec. So, nice little layer. We wanna get it, get some color on. So now we do wanna crank it. Wanna kick it up a notch. other friend. And yes, from work. <laughs> like, I could use, I, I'm just afraid that I break there, you know, the stuff that's here. I'm used to heavier stuff. I break stuff like this all the time. Instead of having to replace their stuff, Oh, yeah. 
that's got its color coming. And then this is what that's for. We got that going on in the background. Let's flip this bad boy over. What I gotta do that I haven't done yet. Right. Taste it. Can't know if it's good if you don't taste it. Well, I just want to door on. <laughs> what are you tasting? The, the chicken sauce? The Marcella sauce? Yeah, because it's been cooking long enough. I'm like 99% sure that. It's too hot. It's not hot. It's just right. It's just fun. Oh my god. That's really good. Yeah. Is there like sugar in that? No. It's so good. Okay, we got a nice little toast on Man, that sucks. Like little toast action there. So you just add a little bit at a time and let it, that way it never gets too cold. Most times you bring this to a boil, but uh, I didn't do that. I normally don't, I just use hot water. Well, you just let this rapid boil, let's see. Seems like rocking. I don't know how good that showed, but you know, I gotta make sure this is lined back up. Yeah, I think we're good. Who knows? This might be our quickest video thing because we're only at 33 minutes and we're, we're, we're rocking out. A little hot. I was like wet in my arms just hit. Nice. Oh, colors coming along. Alright. I think in our guest house we're gonna name a little stove like this. Right? Oh I mean, it's rocking. It's cute. Yeah, it can't it can't use too much power. Yeah, it's electric too. Yeah. It's electric. Basically, I want that boiling the whole time. It's just rock it. It's it's insane. Like once it releases its starch, you think there would be there was cream in there, but there's not. It's one of the coolest things. I always used to cheat when people like, oh, you know how to make a risotto? Like before I worked with Chef Jeff, I'm like yeah, 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 I got it. I would always add cream to it. I'm like, oh, this is really creamy. And how you get it so creamy? I'm like I don't know. I just do what I do. Yeah, I've added cream. That's why I got so creamy. Problem with training under actual chefs, they don't tell you all the terminology. So like for black sauce, I had no idea what that was for like four years. And I was someone like, oh, well, it's a white wine butter sauce. Well, just say white wine butter sauce. I know how to make white wine butter sauce. Like, well, it's called a Verblanc. So I had to start reading books so I get all the terminology down. I'm glad I didn't go I didn't pay for culinary school. Other people paid for pastry school, but I didn't I didn't pay. I was told train under a master chef. And you can you can be a chef yourself. That's the whole Cool thing about bringing up the person behind you. You know, I don't know if uh, he's watching tonight, but Nate's the one behind me now. So, go and bring him up. If I can go up, he can be right behind me. Raymond, who's helping with my videos, used to be right behind me, but I got transferred. If you're, if you're still watching, cheers. Oh yeah, mine is uh, Chambord and Coke. Raspberry Coke. 
That will not be in the uh, Qualcomm video. <laughs> You know what mine is, right, babe? White wine. Water. It's water. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yellow water. Yeah. Did you get that from the river by our house? Oh. Hey, Boulder Creek Strong. Yeah. So you're drinking Boulder Creek I water. I love that river. Yes, we miss our river. I miss that river. So bad. No, it's kind of nice being like, like this is like, you know, it's like a gal. If this was a boat, this would be the galley. Mm -hmm. Like it's very quaint. Hey, this is awesome to have a kitchen. Yeah. All right, so that's good. That's going on. We're in kind of like a down down time because everything's going. So. uh we're just cruising along. Oh my god, okay. Hey, Raymond Montoya. He used to work behind me. Susie, we are. Oh, Susie, you just. No, it's not our Raymond. It's the other Raymond. Okay. The Raymond that was like my right hand in catering. Cool. Who, if I could afford you, you'd be, be with, <laughs> with me now, but I, I can't afford you. And Susie, we are, I'm doing chicken marsala. And uh, you're you're looking at this version of it, but uh, if you sign in, Susie is a Qualcomm employee. If she signs in on Tuesday, she can see an edited version of this, which includes both of these videos on uh, Q Chefs when we do when we do the, I'm, I'm presenting this on on uh, Tuesday because uh, I was doing another video. I was doing uh, porchetta, but uh, we got evacuated, so. I couldn't finish that, the video. That porchetta is gone. So yeah, it's it's, gone. it's one it's one of the things that is why we're gonna be uh, a wrapping our refrigerator in duct tape and rolling it right outside and letting the uh, the garbage man pick it up because oh. we're told don't even open it if you open it in your house after being evacuated and with no power and we had a full fridge so uh, yeah yeah. So I'm Good time. But hey. I'm sorry to anyone out there who doesn't even have their fridge anymore. Yeah. Uh, wasn't trying to make a joke with that, but like, I've seen the pictures. It's it's horrible. Like, that's why we're doing this. You know. Could have been any, any one of us. Yeah. And 19% containment, so. Well, maybe bigger. We didn't see the... Yeah, we didn't see it. <laughs> we didn't see the Maybe you guys there. can tell us where we are as far as containment. So I'm just gradually adding the chicken stock to, uh, you know, see, see how I... Sorry, I got distracted by the comments. And yes, Liz, we're evacuated. That's why we're doing this like you've seen our house this isn't our house so uh yeah so but thanks for watching yeah okay so i'm gonna oh. i gotta see i know it's not ready but i gotta test and it's not it's still still crunchy it's a little crunchy cold medina all right when that's done, that will go there. That's ready to go. We'll wait on the potatoes. Or squash, but I mean, come on. Butternut squash is like, you puree it up. It's like a potato. It's like a sweet potato. It's really good. Yeah. And it's really good. So, it's a cafe. No, the cafe is open. We, we were closed last Friday. Because, uh, well, I, I had to evacuate, and, um, oh, and yes, we, I do have, to, I figured you knew we were, sorry, I, I got distracted reading the comments. Um, Susie, no, the cafe is open. Uh, we just closed Friday because me, Nate, Sean, uh, Lee, 
and Eddie all had families, like our family or them personally, were dealing with evacuees. You know, you know Bacaville, East San Jose, and Boulder Creek. You know, and uh, so I had told them, I, I'm sharing a lot here. Um, I, <laughs> I couldn't stop crying on Thursday. No, no, I, I'm not swearing. I'm just saying, like, I, I, I it, it's, I couldn't think about it anymore. And mm -hmm. like, I closed my financial week and I asked for the, 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 I asked, you know, what can, can we close tomorrow? I, actually, they offered to close based on what was going on. And I told them that uh, as far as Qualcomm population coming in, I had two people on Thursday. So like nobody, maybe Qualcomm employees were having the same issues. So we closed the cafe for Friday only, but we're back, everything's fine. And uh, we're not, it's fine, but you know, the cafe's fine. We're, we're, we're open. I got a cool menu I wrote for next week. And, you know, Susie, stop by anytime. Everybody loves you. And yes, Liz, the fridge is garbage. The whole fridge. But, I found one online that has hot water. Like, it'll make tea. There, there's one that makes a Keurig cake cup in the door of the fridge. Mainly, I just want the hot water. If I can go hot, cold, and ice out of the fridge, well then we don't need that little se separate side hot water type deal that we have. And it's a really cool fridge. So this should be the last amount of water that it needs. Or chicken stock. I had to top off a little water. I ran out of chicken stock. We'll let that go. We got this back here. Oh yeah, I got that one. looks good. That's going good. Turn them over. All right, we gotta turn it down now. We'll turn it off. Cover it. We'll check on our squash. And the oven's really hot. I can hear them sizzling. Mm. Ooh, nice roasted. Okay. It's kind of like a baked potato. If a knife goes through it, or in this case, the butt of a spoon, it is ready. So we can turn that off. And since it's off, and we got no place to hold this for a minute, we're just gonna leave it in there. A little more caramelization won't hurt. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't Luann your aunt? Yes. Hey, yeah. Aunt Luann. Says it's it. So it's bedtime here, and she's craving squash and risotto. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for those of us on the other side of the coast. We're uh, we're uh, which we call it. No, uh, we're in California, so it's <laughs> it's, it's late. Always, it's late for you guys. Yeah. And Susie, that was the barnet squash that just came out of the oven and went back in. And uh, Bonnie, cousin, chip in dry ice. Uh, the goal is one of these days. You need to come out. Yeah, you got one of you guys should come out. Man. Come on, you guys. Yeah. Like, come on. You. We other than have, other than the current situation, we say. have we have the perfect situation. <laughs> we usually do. And we think our house is still standing, so. But don't stop praying. Yeah. Keep them like, coming for our for whole the, community, please. Yeah, Bay Area. Yeah. You know, it's, it's weird being at work indoors and smelling the smoke and like all the fires are, I don't know about how close the East San Jose fire is to where I work. But like Boulder Creek's like 30, 30 miles away, and Bacaville is an hour and a half away. So, it's crazy. Smoke, smoke inside is creepy. It's 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 yeah, fire and COVID. 
<laughs> Good times. She's like, yep, I'm on my way, firing COVID. <laughs> yeah, I, sorry, I'm dyslexic, so I read it backwards. <laughs> I, I read, yep, I'm on my way, firing COVID. But, I'm like, all right, cool. But, what's weird for all of the evacuees, like, evacuating in COVID, wow. It's weird. It's just, yeah. It's just surreal. I'd say the biggest challenge is parking. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. like us, so many of our fellow evacuees we had to take our cars with us. Uh, I left a pickup truck and my, my scooter behind. Uh, and I've seen the pictures, people left a lot of stuff behind and, and gone. And some of it's there, some of it's not. Uh, so that's depressing. Um, but we have two cars. So think about when you go on vacation, you have one car, so most hotels have one car per room. Well, almost everybody here is an evacuee, so we have two, three cars, a trailer, you know, all kinds of stuff that, you know, you, you take pets. when you leave. So we've seen so many pets. Yeah. Which is so yeah. Awesome. By the way, Marriott residence inns take pets. Mm -hmm. They allow pets. Yeah. Which I know that is a big deal at a lot of places we we looked at. We don't have pets, but we want them. <laughs> Yes, we do. We want a dog. Yeah, it's just we can't agree on the type of dog. All right, our risotto is like on the cusp. So what makes it on the cusp? Uh, I'm thinking by looking at it, the size of the grains. The grains have popped up a lot pop here but I won't know until it's still a little hard this is what a chef does like he smushes them with his thumb no I wear dentures <laughs> and uh, I don't always wear my uh, it's hard to eat with the dentures why do you wear dentures because I didn't take care of my teeth and you were a I, I played hockey but well, everybody knows that don't ever play hockey. Don't, don't, you know, fall face first when you're skiing at uh, Wilmont in Wisconsin and, uh, you know, face plant on a mogul and like break out half your face. So uh, that, that, that kind of changes the, uh, the, uh, the teeth situation. Okay, so. So how would we test it if we didn't want to smush it with? Oh, uh, you would you would bite it like uh, like you would pasta like al dente. You want you want al dente because it's gonna continue to cook as it sits after I pull it, and uh, we're gonna cook it again like two minutes after it's done. Actually, probably about five minutes after it's done cooking. Normally, I would pull it, chill it, put it in the fridge on like pan, and let it. Let it cool down as fast as possible so it wouldn't overcook too much. And then you take what you need when you get an order, you know, or you portion it out for four orders. And uh, so you, you, make, you make a big batch, and then you get an order, and you grab what you need, and you do what we're going to do in a minute. But we're just going to do the whole batch because it's our dinner. Like, literally, when this is all done, we're gonna eat this because this is our our dinner, that's and that's nice. that's how I always try to do it. Like all, all my videos are, it's for a reason, you know. Like son's birthday, cake. Didn't plan on dropping the cake on the ground and on, on, on the counter, but I did, and it took a minute of reflection. It was really good. Yeah, and it ended up being really good. Ended up being almost better it because was actually really, the really, what, the really ganache good. on top. Because the top of the cake crumbled. If you haven't seen it, it's on Chris Superfine Chef Louth on YouTube or the louthlounge.blogspot.com, which is my blog. Because me and Aaron want to do more of these videos, and uh, uh, we have fun. But uh, I dropped the cake. That's what I'm saying. That's why. I was He's usually not very calm. If, um, I did. I did not long. swear. 
I did, I did reach up and pause the video because I was like, F-bomb, what am I going to do? <laughs> F-bomb, F-bomb. And, uh, like, okay. And I, re I, I started cleaning up. I'm like, I can do this. And I turned the camera back on and went from there. But, uh, it ended up being really good cake. It was good. And the whole point was I was going to make a cake that was like this big, but then my brain wouldn't let me use a pan that had a dent in the side because it wasn't round and I had no idea. I'm still tripping on why my brain was like, no, you can't use that. It's not round. So I made a bigger cake and I dropped it. So now it's a... Uh, it's all, we're good. We're at where I want it to be. There's that little bit of liquid still. It's normal. It shouldn't be swimming in liquid, but. No, it looks really good. It looks so good. So, let's see. How are we going to do this? Because now we need to cook. That looks really good. Okay, so we're going to do a quick rinse of this, of the pans, and then we'll finish this. What are you doing with that? I'm going to cover it because my wife oh doesn't my like God. stuff, especially food, exposed. I don't. Even if it's for a few minutes. It is what it is. Eat these. I missed my saran wrap. I know. So, just set that right there. Alright, that's all we're going to do with that. We're going to make it dirty again. Just washing the pan, washing the pan, washing the pan. Filming you washing the pan, washing the pan, washing the pan. All right, so we go right back to the stove. Home stretch. Look at that. We might actually make it in under an hour. Oh my god. Be a record for <laughs> for me and her. So we're gonna take all the butter that's left. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, did I not mention that uh, there's a lot of butter in this? Did we not mention we're gonna be like? 800 pounds after this pandemic. I like your comment, Luann. It's like, I love the live because this is how I cook, swearing and mistakes and all that. Oh, God. That's a lot of butter, but I love it. Let's well, just gotta, face it, I love it's, it. It's actually not all the butter. Oh, my gosh. It's a big glob of fat. Because that is the herb the herb fat. The roasted garlic butter. Fat. That the came with fat. the mushrooms from, oh, what store did I go to? Hmm. No, I didn't get to go there. No, I think Safeway or Lucky or one of those. So I'm getting all this butter. This is what I was getting ready to say earlier, and then I, I, I. Wait, wait, wait. So are you I telling stopped. me we've eaten? We're gonna eat in this meal a whole. No, it wasn't brick. whole. No, a whole brick of that butter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was eight. No, was it eight? Four. Oh my god. <laughs> It oh was. my god! <laughs> yes, you don't. Oh my this god. is what you guys don't realize behind the scenes how much it was it? Eight ounces, so we we about seven ounces through the whole. <laughs> and this might be a little bit more than I need, but you know, it's only butter. 
Thank that was, God. That's Wait. all I was trying to say earlier was that you gotta have the, the your oil, your butter ripping before you add your mushrooms. So they don't just suck up all the seven, butter. Seven ounces of butter. Okay, so this across is across all the all, everything, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, anyway. Yeah, but it, we're we're on the third floor of this hotel, and we've been taking the steps. Yeah. Even, I mean, I got a little bit. Of, okay, I got a lot of a belly, we've but been you know. The steps. Oh my god. That's a lot of butter. I'm just saying. Yeah, but it's low in carbs. That's true. All right. Well, we we, we don't do the right. Which we're gonna eat, my god. It's amazing. It has a lot of butter. Well, welcome. You know how much butter French people eat every day? I am like, part French. Like, it's I too bad Frenchie's not on here. I forgot I'm to invite I'm part French. Me. I can eat the butter then. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll embrace it. And you eat salad last. I've been eating a lot of salads lately. I prefer butter over salad, actually. I prefer bacon over salad. Oh, right? I mean, that's like... All right, so... A pure good. A lot of butter, but, you know, the mushrooms are... Oh. Okay, I want to use some, uh, some wine here. Some marsala? Yeah, no. barely. Look at all the little tiny bit you used. No, we don't need any more and more salad. White? Probably. <laughs> Did that show that? Let's just go. Oh my god. Okay, you see you see see the wine back there? It's a little, little Costco Kirkland uh, Pinot Grigio. It's actually pretty good. Let's throw that in there. And now we're going to take this and put it back in. So, at this point, it's just risotto. Like, I could literally, I could take the butternut squash, puree it up, and then add that into here, and then put the risotto in, and we got butternut squash mushroom risotto. Uh, you can do anything to the risotto at this point. Uh, if I had not used onions, and I just did uh, butter, and a little bit of salt, uh, straight water, no, or, or simple syrup, that one works really good. Uh, you make it into a dessert. I've done, uh, what was it? Uh, white chocolate risotto it was one of, the, one of the things I got to do at the. I think it was Playboy. It might have been at. I worked at some hotels too. It was pastry shop. It's really good. Like, really good. Like, really good. We're not gonna eat those carbs. I mean, come on, look at that. Okay, I forgot about the risotto. It's really looking good. You know, we're gonna serve that down. Yeah, but we'll take a couple days, and we're on the third floor, and we'll go up and down the stairs. And I, I made a point, like since the pandemic, I don't use the elevator at work. I use the <laughs> stairs. Uh, yes, it's only one flight of stairs. But, you know, <laughs> I don't print on the printer in my office. I print in the printer down the hall, well, across the other side of the cafe, it's in a little library. So I get steps in. Because mm. I don't cook every day anymore. So like, I used to do 11, 12 miles in a space a little bit bigger than this. <laughs> I would do 12 miles in a day in a space a little bit bigger than this on my uh, line at, into it. 
So this stopped at one point and then started again. It's fine. Okay. As long as you started it back up. I did. And I've got that one recording. Actually, I, I think I got it recording. Yes, it's still recording. <laughs> but now I lost the, the web thing. Okay, there it is. Sorry, sorry. Just learning things here. 10 feet per second. All right. All right, well, this is basically ready. It's uh, oh. All right, so now, now it's the final tasting. It's like everything. And then the funnest part. Eating. Besides it. eating. Besides eating. What is the funnest part? Plate up. What? Plate up. Oh. When you try and make it look all fancy. When, when you take it from going, here's your dinner, to, hey, here's your dinner. Hmm. You do Frenchy, ah, here's your order. Is it still crunchy? I would say it's right. It's good. Right where it needs to be. Mm, you're right, actually. Wow. What? It's really good. Oh, I didn't know what the wow was like. Wow. That's, that's carbs worth having. They do get, well, at least it's nice <laughs> china here. Like, it's not. Yeah, it's it is nice. It's Odina. I mean, right? O Oneida or okay, whatever? Okay, you've got to show this. The paper towel. Oh. So. This is so stupid. So. <laughs> we, we bought uh, little paper towels. Yes. Because what I'm about to show you, we like so much. <laughs> and we we take care of the room ourselves. So we, we, we don't know when, the, you know. We don't know if every maid here does that, <laughs> but, but like it's so beautiful. It's like like the even the towels in the bathroom were done like that. Yeah. That we had to use. So yeah, we oh, but oh yeah, but we yeah. bought we bought more paper towels because we didn't want to ruin that. Right? I mean, yeah. we're being okay. evacuated. That like, was like a little cheerful thing, you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's it gave us a little bit of joy. A little comfort and joy. Yeah. Comfort food, joyful service. Yeah. All right, so that cup's out of here. You are out of here. Sorry, my woman. Just wanted to get out of here. This place has a dish machine. That's. Like in some in some regards, this kitchen is nicer than the one we had when we rented in Saratoga. Oh, totally way nicer, actually. It's, like, it's incredible. Okay. Are we ready? Are you ready? I am so ready. All right. So now, for me, the fun part. Now, like I said, at, at work, like you would have the potatoes prepped, or the, the, the sorry, the butternut squash prepped, the risotto like it was on the plate, but cold, the sauce and the chicken would be made just how we did it, a la minute, and uh, but over much more intense flame. Like the amount of heat you can get out of a commercial kitchen is insane compared to at home. You, you feel feel slighted at home when you, when you work in a commercial kitchen. That's why a lot of chefs have those, you know, professional ranges in their house. What are you hitting me for? Hurry up, I'm hungry. All right, here's our nice and toasty butternut squash. Okay, do I have a bigger spoon? Probably not. Let's see. Outline the 
this up so you can see it. more you're going to eat. Mm. We'll put the that looks so uh, right good. there. I figured since I was doing the video, I might as well do it like even a little bit nicer. But I had to wash the uh, cutting board. So it was gross. Mm -hmm. It was gross. Well, I smell really good. I know. I'm not trying to ruin your presentation, but I totally want to eat it. You, you can eat in one minute. Because you can, you can eat. So they... She's very honest. So, like, she's not going to lie. Like, if it sucks, she's going to be like, I'm sorry, babe, but it just, it, it just, it just well, wasn't... Don't you, wouldn't you rather know? Yeah. So I'm going to take her chicken. And just pot so it just falls apart. Just oh, slice it nice. up. No, I generally do is I'm saying, go like, ba boom. sauce. Nice. Oh, that looks really, that's a good bit. I'm just getting you some more mushroom. You like okay. mushroom? I do. So, there you have chicken, mar chicken marcella, uh, wild mushroom risotto, and roasted butternut squash. Uh, done evacu- <laughs> done evacuee <laughs> style, uh, in a kitchenette of a hotel. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. Well, we're not leaving yet because now I take the camera. <laughs> I need a fork. Oh yeah, a fork, a fork might help. <laughs> You're not getting a knife. Okay. You don't trust me? I don't blame you. I don't think you need a knife. <laughs> Like, smile, you're on candid camera. Because, <laughs> see, yeah, I should always. Really she always says I should get video of somebody eating the food. Well. So, there you go. There you have it. We had fun. Hour and ten minutes. I, I really, I really thought it was going to take, like, two hours. So, like, that oven rocks. Um. We had fun. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, the edited video, it'll take me a couple days to edit it. Because I got to edit it down to under 20 minutes. Um, but uh, it'll be up in a couple days on, uh, what is it, uh, the Louth Lounge. Dot, actually, I got to figure out a way to get that to like, boom, show across. But the Louth Lounge dot blogspot dot com. And you guys, Santa Cruz Mountain Strong. Boulder Creek Strong. Yeah. Super grateful to me. all of the firefighters and the first responders. And you're not on here. You might not even see it, but 
thank you Kevin Foster for everything you've done like your updates help so much like I don't I, I still don't have Facebook app on my phone or my computer like I, I use it through the website because I don't like uh, I don't like all the other stuff that gets gets thrown out in Facebook it's just crap but uh, like your the posts from the people in Boulder Creek that are there and you know first responders that are working yeah. like thank you yeah, like thank you like we yes we're in a hotel but hey we're yeah. in a hotel like you guys let us know right. to get out in time like had you not we wouldn't even be here so you know yeah thank you thank you and uh good night If this is the animal, I mean, you will choose yes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. The rest of my life is going to stop being an embarrassment of care. Oh. Okay. It, I know it takes a minute.